Hi there, this is Lady Shell. Today I'm going to be taping a video showing you how you can add effects to maps that already have line of sight on them. The module that I'll be using in this tutorial is Encounters in Icewind Dale, which is a module that I converted for Grim Press. The module was made to work in both Fantasy Grounds Classic and Fantasy Grounds Unity. So it has the line of sight, but I'm going to be adding additional effects to give it a more immersive look. You can do this with any module that you own or even one that you homebrewed. I won't show the addition of the line of sight. This video is only showing you how to add effects to your existing maps. The tools that I'm using are Fantasy Grounds Unity and I have the ultimate version. As mentioned, I'm using the Encounters in Icewind Dale module, which you can purchase through the DMs Guild. I'll have a link should you wish to do that. It will be in the description below. And lastly, I'm using a Wacom tablet to work with my maps. I find it easier to draw on maps using a pen and a tablet rather than a mouse. You can use any type of graphic tablet you wish, but if you'd like to check out the one that I purchased, it's perfect if you don't have a ton of room on your desk for additional items. I am right-handed, so I have my keyboard aligned to the left of my desk, the tablet to the right, and then on the far right and back aways, I have the mouse to make any adjustments on the screen, such as zooming in or out. This supplement of Encounters is meant to be used with Icewind Dale, Rime of the Frost Maiden. However, it will fit in any campaign that is based in a snowy area. Because of this, adding snow is one of the effects that I'm going to be adding. And I'll also be adding water effects so it looks like your river is really moving. Now let's start. So you see I have my map loaded on my screen. And this is one of the random maps from the module. You can see there is quite a few maps included in this. And then I have um, separated the, uh, these are just like your handouts and stuff um, in a different folder. So anyway, my maps are all here. And each one of these maps has a, encounter that goes with it but there are also some encounters that don't have maps and some of them you can choose one of the random maps which uh, is why it gives you a cliff map a forest map a ice battle map a mountain map a river map and a road map so you have pretty much uh, one thing for everything so we are in play mode I have the map unlocked and we are going to go to line of sight. You can see the line of sight that I've added to this map. Basically, I just put the terrain features around the trees and the bluffs here. I didn't do anything with the water, but that's what I'm going to be doing now. Now, first, we are going to click down here where it says plus effects, which says add effects layer. I'm going to click on that. And as I do that, you see it adds a a different layer. This is your effects layer. And then up here, I'm gonna click on the effects and it's gonna give me an option to choose what type of effect I wanna put on this map. Now let's start with the water. When you click on water, you can see it turns your entire map into like a moving water. And uh, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to wanna to turn on the mask. So I click on this little plus button up here it says enable mask and when I do that you could see now it's ready for me to tell it where do I want this to have water so over here we have the eye and we have a mask so the eye will let you reveal areas and the mask will let you like if you needed to fix it or delete an area that you had um, done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw along the edge of the water with my pen and I'm going to hold down the alt key as I do this. So I'm going to start at the top 
and let's make sure yeah we're doing water okay and uh, we're gonna start at the top I'm gonna hold the alt key down and I'm gonna draw and it doesn't have to be totally exactly touching the coast it just has to be close and you can always fix things that you did if you went over or you want to add additional because as you can see I went into the black part so I'm going to end and now you see my water is moving but the rest of my map is not moving you can make changes to this by using the sliders and you can make more horizontal movement or less I think less is better in this case we don't want it to be crazy bouncy intensity just increases the feature it, you could see it just like, like goes totally crazy way over here we're gonna keep this way down too we want it to look like it's moving but we don't want it to look like it's crazy then there's the speed uh, this is the speed which is gonna move so we don't really want it too high because it kind of looks like an earthquake so we're going to keep this low too and droplet if you have a larger droplet size you could see it's larger <laughs> so I'm going to reduce this because we want it to look like kind of a gentle flow maybe a little bit bigger okay now there are a couple things that I want to fix as you can see up here I went into the black part which is why it's picking this up and over here same thing so to fix this I'm going to click on hide area and again I'm gonna click I'm gonna um, hold the alt button down and I'm just gonna uh, grab the very top layer and delete where it's going outside bound outside of the bounds so we'll keep this nice and small and I didn't get enough there so now my side is fixed this is kind of bumpy over here I'm gonna go in a little bit and same thing here all this does is take off the effect that you put on and you really can't tell that there's no movement over here but if you really wanted to add more movement over there let's close up on the map and you can kind of see if you go really close that it looks like it ends over here so again we're gonna we have the eye on so it says reveal so it's going to add it again I'm going to add it and not go into the black you could always go into the existing area and it's you know it doesn't hurt anything so that was pretty easy um, I see that the water is going a little too close to the rock so I'm going to do the height area just on this little rock so this doesn't look like the rock is moving there that's better let's see how's the rest of it look oh up here same thing I'm going to do the same thing this rock it got to the water got too close so I'm going to do that it's still messed up there there we go now it's just the water is just the water so that's great so now let's add another layer I would like to add some snow to this so I'm going to put reveal on again I'm going to add another layer by clicking down here on add effects layer and I'm going to we've got the effects here and you can see this layer is called water this is my actual um, map layer and this new layer is going to be called snow now you can see it's snowing but if you notice it's snowing all over the map even outside the map which we don't want it to do I'm gonna oh I'll close move over here I'm going to right click I'm going to view and I'm going to zoom to fit so you could still see there is um, snow 
coming on the outside of the map. I'm going to adjust the snow layer because I don't like the, it's too big and it's, it's going too fast. But first what I need to do is I need to click on the plus to enable the mask and then I need to draw around just the out, very outside edge and anything inside there is going to be showing. Let's click on reveal and this time I'm not going to use the alt key. Instead I'm going to click on the control key and it will give me a box. Now let's try not to go into the black and we click on it and let go and there's our snow only snowing on the map. I would like to reduce the amount. I would like to boost the intensity but slow it down just a little bit and then the size is way too large. So you can always just play with it. Anything is fixable. If you mess something up, you could do Control Z to go back. However, if you do that in an effects layer, it will totally delete the effects layer and you'll have to start all over. So basically, I would only do that if I was draw doing the drawing part. I would not do it otherwise. Uh, let's give it some more intensity and a little more snow. We're going to keep the size down, but we want more of it. There, that looks good. So we have two layers. We have our snow layer and our water layer, and this is the um, order that it's in too. The actual map is on the bottom, the water is in the middle, and the snow is on the top. So if you have different things that you want to layer upon each other, but you want some things underneath you can always drag your layers into a different location on the side here so basically i think that's um all i'm going to do to this map and i think let's put our character on here so i'm going to go to play mode i'm going to drag the character onto the map okay she's on the map And to show the line of sight, I'm going to enable it. And to show what she sees, you have to click on the character. Now you see what she sees. When she goes around the rocks and around the trees, and the, then there's water over here. But remember, I didn't have any terrain or anything over here, so she can see clear across the shore. But you can see my line of sight looks good. Whoops. Okay. And that's pretty much uh, all I wanted to show you is how to add effects. You could add any type of effects that you like. Um, I can show you the different ones. I'm not going to do them, but I'll show you the names of the different things that they have. They have rain, they have snow, they have blizzard, they have mist, they have clouds, water. Ocean is really interesting too. It's a, a very small, more of a ripple effect. Then there's parchment. Make it look like a parchment paper. It would be good if you had like a handout that you wanted to add like a parchment look to. Uh, there's sepia tone, there's grayscale, and there's time of day. Now, if you did a layer of time of day, then you could show like what it looks like in the morning, the afternoon, and in the evening. And what you actually could do with this is you could make three different layers at different times, and you could hide the ones that 
don't you're not using at the time like if it's morning you just uh, display the morning one and then when it gets to be afternoon then you would close the or make the um, morning one invisible and then make the midday one visible so that's time of day you have adjust colors this allows you to <clears throat> use a palette and change the different colors of the map and then there's night vision that looks like you're looking through night vision goggles it's really interesting but it doesn't fit this campaign or this uh, effect so let me get rid of my character oh let me get back in play mode let me delete my character's token and that is all there is for adding effects to your maps that already have the line of sight on them. So I hope that this video is helpful and um, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.